live from the command center JW Solo USA. This is what I have for you guys today. Um, is a CB1 electric low voltage, and uh, um, guys, this is the thing. Let me show you. All right, this is the uh, these are circuit breakers industries. Okay, and it. It is uh, MNEPV 15300 and a quantity of 10 midnight solar. Okay, guys, this is a 300 volt 15 amp DC. Guys, I just want to show you, um, like I was stressing about. Uh, uh, safety on my videos and other stuff and if we started running on high voltages you guys been seeing I'll be changing a lot of um, appliances and uh, um, uh, incorporated with uh, solar panels and that caused one old change because if I started dragging myself into high voltages for batteries lithium batteries and going with the high uh, voltage inverters charge controllers and um, you have to um, beef up the game so this is what I'm doing right now and guys I've been setting up all this good stuff and let's go ahead and check it out it's a midnight solar incorporated MNEPV 15300 so this is um, required for midnight classic um, 200 and 250 charge controllers so if you're still running the 150 MPPT um, and the other ones, you still have to stay with the 150 volt DC breakers. These are DC breakers made by from Midnight Solar. Well, guys, this is the one old game here. These are DC breakers, 300 volt and uh, 15 amps. Right there, he can go up to about two. He requires for Midnight Classic 250, but because the hyper voltage on the Midnight Classic, and you will see it can tolerate up to about 300 volt. The hyper voltage he just regulates when he needs the power and uh, when not. So, guys, these are the breakers here. I hope you like. And um, right now, I'll show you what it is when you have a breaker that's already tripped and the one that doesn't hasn't tripped yet. So let's go into that and see how it is. So if you look at it keenly here, these are 10 breakers in here. They are brand new. And this one is already off. Okay, it's all the way down. And this one is already tripped. See that? And this is off. And this is on. This one is off. And this one just tripped. So when it, it trips at uh, this, this, um, see that? If it trips, it's in the center, center part of it. And you see these little dots? Three dots down, it's a line always when you see that, that tells you a DC. Okay, if it's an AC, you see like a, a sine wave, a wave like. So, look at that, it's a curved U2, and it takes, um, these are two breakers in one. If you look at it, it has a component here which is a copper that uh, parallel these things together. It parallels the bricker together and uh, make it as a a big beefy breaker. If you look at it closely, let's see. The light's gonna let us do this. Okay. Yeah, those are the specs, and it can tolerate a, a copper wire, which is. Uh, 2 gauge, 4 gauge, 18 and 6 gauge and with all the turkey pounds you can do right there. 
125 250 volt DC units are polarity sensitive so if you want to do this make sure that you get it right and make sure you follow the instruction that uh, really um, um, the breaker requires for in your machine so it's a 15 amp breaker okay it's a 15 amp breaker but look it trips at uh, 19.5 let me flip this in again here okay 15 amp breaker see that 250 volts it can go up to about 300 volt you saw the sticker they are sandwiched together and look at the the, the 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 size of the output which you can have those blade um a boss bar blades stick into this thing easily stick a two gauge wire in there so always follow the wire gauge that will give you um you, you are not rating you rating the cable it's not the the amps that's good it's the cable the cable is rated at a certain amps so when the cable started getting warm and the uh, the breaker is gonna sense that and trip so if you oversize the, the wire it would never get warm and the breaker would never detect that it wouldn't trip okay so is the wire that's why the, when you when you trying to get a breaker you rate it according to the wire or the wire size of it that's the breaker you have to put there what the, whatever that device is um, um, asking you for it requires for so these are beefy beefy breakers and you guys can see a uh, 10 of them they're all the same 15 amps which I'm gonna be utilizing on my breaker box which I'm gonna be showing you guys how to put these breakers together and uh, MNPV6250 uh, breaker box and which gonna work perfectly and see how everything goes with this one old um, uh, deal here so I hope you guys like that and um, as a DIN rail as well as a DIN rail so if you, you don't buy the box itself you can get a DIN rail and you can just mount it but I'll encourage you to do that way because uh, the box is a waterproof a weatherproof and um, uh, it's gonna just work perfectly so this is the uh, where the input where the solar comes in the solar module or solar power is coming in here the DC feeds in at the bottom and feeds out to um, a midnight uh, bus bar which looks like blades two of them gonna get in here it has different prongs blades and it has one here uh, a stud that is gonna be taking the positive or two positive out you can see another one here so this is how it looks like um, this the output is here the input from the solar goes underneath always so that this thing will trip or else it's not gonna it's not gonna happen well um, Stay tuned for the next uh, video that is coming and um, about uh, uh, breakers, circuit breakers, DC, AC, you know, good uh, breakers for solar. These are solar breakers, uh, DC breakers for solar, DIY solar, Olmstead DIY um, uh, generator kits, DIY, all kind of stuff you want to do, off-grid, whatever you want to do. So you can set up, as long as you have a DC breaker, it will always work. DC to DC is designed for it, okay? can't put the AC to DC, it won't trip. It won't do anything. So um, the safety, always use DC for DC appliances right here at the command center of the JW Solar USA. And uh, stay tuned for more to come live from this channel. With all these breakers, with all the goodies, I, I told you guys, it's going to be a lot of upgrades, updates uh, with the uh, solar system.
and uh, I'm gonna this I'm so happy because I um, end up buying 10 of these so in case I need any of these um, thing I don't have to worry anymore if the price is right just buy you will never have to worry about breakers anymore this is what I've done and this is what I'm doing and all with high voltage uh, charge controllers and high voltage batteries stay tuned it's gonna be more serious of videos about this one old deal here and uh, more of a high voltage and breakers and all uh, wire wire size and batteries lithium batteries so subscribe like and share to the video always and thanks for watching and being part of this channel live from Minnesota here JW Solar USA bye for now